Hi, my name is Ivan Atanaskovic, known as Mr. A around here. I, uh, I'm athletic and activities coordinator at Seoul International School, and I uh, speak Serbian and English at the moment. What is your favorite Korean food? Um, bibimbap and nakji dukbap. What is one thing you'll miss about Korea? One thing? I'll miss a lot of things about Korea. I can't come up with one. <laughs> what is your favorite place at SIS? TG1. In a movie about your life, which celebrity would play you? Gerard Butler. What do you hear students in your class say most often? That's a question for you. Can you tell us? Organized. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a student were you in high school? Next question, please. <laughs> um, um, I'm not really sure. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. What time do you wake up? 5.30. What was your favorite thing to do in Korea? Uh, skiing in Taiwan and uh, walking around parks. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Dog person. What's your next adventure? We're moving to uh, Istanbul, Turkey. Istanbul International Community School. What will you miss about SIS? <laughs> I'll miss a lot of things. Um, I'll miss uh, a lot of good things happen at SAS and in Korea while we were here. Um, I'll miss competition. I'll miss, uh, I'll miss students. Um, I miss home games. Uh, um, I miss dynamic that I feel every morning that I come to school. Uh, SAS is uh, a really, really great environment and a great place to be and um, has a really interesting vibe that uh, I'm 100% sure that I'll, I'll miss that. How do you think SAS changed you? I think I became, um, became more patient. <laughs> um, how would you describe yourself in three words and why? Three words and why? Um, I, I'm not really sure how to describe myself in three words. I think uh, I'm a little bit more complex than that. Um, but if I ask you that same question, how would you describe me in three words and why? What would you say? I think, <laughs> well, I think you're very organized because you are basically in charge of every, every event that happens in our school. And you're always like very perfect with everything. Well, to us, okay. you're very perfect. <laughs> um, and another word would be passionate because you're very passionate with your work and your job. It seems like you really enjoy your job. <laughs> and I think the last word would be inspiring because you inspire a lot of students and athletes with what you do for us and all the care that you give us. Thank you. <laughs> what is your life motto? Um, I have a few. I like one from uh, Haruki Murakami. He's a, he's a writer, Japanese writer. Um, he wrote, um, pain is inevitable, oh, suffering suffering is optional. That's a pretty good one. Um, um, but then uh, there's another one that it's also it's connected to support. Um, winners never quit and quitters never win. That's a, super, that's a good one. Um, and um, I don't know, keep working hard, whatever you do. Keep pushing, never give up. That's it. Last question is, if you were to leave one last message or words of encouragement to the students of SIS, what would it be? S fighting. <laughs>